So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. City of Basel, known so much for its beauty, and that beauty certainly extends to the stadium. So we're almost there, all one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. So what are we to expect in this final? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Keeper's got good distance on that. Keeper sends it forward. Jao Cancelo. Kyle Walker. Gundogan gets it out to the wing. Conte. Bernardo Silva with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Zuma. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And now the breakaway. Stones. Zuma hoists it forward. Zayek with Zayek look at the defender bombing forward too much on that it's gone out Gundogan and it's played forward well played he saw that coming Zuma. Forward it goes. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Oh, 
Oh, real danger here. Jorginho. Deftly done. Good ball over the top. Christensen is there to heave it away. Jorginho. Gundogan. De Bruyne. João Cancelo. And it's De Bruyne. Now it's Gundogan. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Whistle's gone. That's a foul. Great opportunity to open the scoring here. He's shaping up to have a crack from here. De Bruyne! Oh, off the bar! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, maybe it was one of those moments when he just caught it too well. Across the field it goes. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. And here's Sterling. Sterling with a delicate ball. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ake gets it back. De Bruyne. We'll try from distance. De Bruyne usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can though. Stones hit the slide tackle there. All the way back and they start again. Ederson sends that a long way. Goes looking. Zuma. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Well, with it being a final, caginess is to be expected. Each obviously wants it badly, but neither wants to find themselves behind, and, and that's the issue now. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. If we're just back from your break, shoots! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Kick's been given, and the referee has shown him a yellow card. That was mighty close. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two, Peter, and it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Played out to the right, Mares going through. 
Christensen demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Stones drives it forward. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, they're... Oh, no question, that's a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Goes looking. Chilwell. Gets it upfield. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Forward it goes. And it's Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Has a pop! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Positions himself well and cuts it out. Gabriel Jesus finds himself offside. We get a throw in. Pulisic. To throw in. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Away from immediate danger. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And he has been fouled there. Gabriel Jesus. And they've been caught going for goal. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Oh, he's going to get himself offside. That's offside, yes it is. Gundogan.
De Bruyne. Gundogan. Dinks one in. Gabriel has a hit! Given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. And it's played forward. Defending was strong and firm. It's a loose ball. Jorginho tries to get it forward quickly. Pulisic. Could have here their final chance. And it's been taken short. Clears it out of harm's way. So that's it. It is all over. Simply, the big day was their day, a day for them and their fans, a truly proud line in their history. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory, another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.